If you've been around for a little bit, you know that this past school year was a little bit tough with my class. So I'm coming up with a plan on how to set up my new students for success with some lessons that I think will help. Welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent and I love sharing ways to help teachers simplify their classroom and their teaching. This past school year was our first normal year that we've had in over three years. And after reflecting over this past school year, I think one of the areas that I struggled with myself was the fact that I really didn't take into consideration that they really haven't had the social skills that they normally would get in first, second, and third grade. They've had to keep distance from each other. They haven't been allowed to share with each other. So I've really just been thinking about what are some social skill lessons that I can teach my students to help them be more successful since they have missed some of those important skills throughout the past few years. Here are a few that I am going to incorporate into our morning meeting time. Morning meeting is really a great time to teach these social skills. It kind of sets our tone for the day and it's something that I do every day for about 15 to 20 minutes that I really think is important. I think I can just do a better job at incorporating some of these social skills into that. One of the things that I do every Tuesday is what we call Team Building Tuesday. We play different games games and activities to really sort of build that camaraderie. But one of the things I want to focus more on is being a good sport. It's something that I definitely mention when we play these games and activities, but I think I want to be more intentional about what I'm teaching the students. And so really just being a good sport and of course being graceful at winning and being okay with losing. And that's something that I definitely talk about. But another thing that I really want to try is really even just being patient when some somebody takes longer to do something or what we can say to encourage others when they don't do it the way we think they should do it. Just some of those more soft skills of really how to speak to someone instead of being mean about it and really trying to encourage them through the activity or game. This next one kind of ties into that, but just using polite words and honestly, how to ask for something, how to say, no, I don't want you to do that. I don't, I want my students to be assertive and speak up for themselves, but I want them to also do it in a way that's not mean and degrading to other students. That's something I really want to try to build into our class mission that we set up at the beginning of the year and really something we almost do daily because I feel like in this day and age it's not modeled a lot to students. That's one of my bigger goals is to really work on just how we speak to other people. Another lesson and I say lesson like it's one but it's going to be multiple over throughout the entire year but it's really just having a positive attitude and not necessarily like this think everything's happy rainbows and butterflies but what I've noticed is that a lot of kids just don't have a positive attitude towards anything and a lot of it including themselves and so I really want to work on just helping students be able to encourage themselves and encourage others it goes back to the whole how we speak to others and it's not just speaking to others but also including ourselves I started last year with daily affirmations and we just sort of got into the rhythm of school and that sort of fell to the wayside so I want to bring that back and I'm actually planning on making it a student job this year so that they can really help sort of build that in our class so that they can run our daily affirmations and I'm going to part of their job will be like finding a positive quote that they'll share for the week and different things like that to just really encourage a more positive outlook on themselves and school and I just feel like there's so much negativity in the world that they really need a place that they can feel is positive. Another area that I want to focus on is just personal space and body language. I feel like with the fact that they have had to keep their distance for so many years and all of a sudden last year they were allowed to be in close proximity to each other that they really didn't know boundaries and so oftentimes they would get in in each other's personal space and the fact that we sit at tables and they don't have a defined desk space. I just really want to focus more attention there of how to maintain your personal space, how to let someone know they're in your space without being rude. You could see how all of these different sort of ideas that I have kind of all mesh together and it's really something that I just want to make sure is at the forefront of my mind when I'm thinking about our morning meetings, when I'm thinking about the beginning of the year and setting the tone and setting our expectations and it's just something I want to make sure that I've always talked about these things with my students but I don't think I've ever been intentional with these lessons and I feel like 
that kids need these intentional lessons because A, they haven't got it for the past several years, and B, I just think things have shifted in our culture to where they may not be getting these types of conversations at home. And so I wanna make sure that we're having them in the classroom so that our classroom is a positive welcome, everybody feels safe, everybody feels okay to speak their opinion without being rude about it, but also receiving somebody's opinion who's different than us. I just think there's a lot of area of growth personally for me to help students to achieve these things. I will definitely be mixing these lessons in with our first week of school activities and lessons and procedures. There's a lot that goes into that first week of school. So if you wanna know some of the procedures that I will definitely be teaching on the first day of school, check out the video that's on your screen now.